huge shout out goes out to our current channel members. If you're interested in gaining a channel membership, then feel free to head over to my channel profile and click the join button. Also, we do have a Ninjago Discord server. It's a great way to communicate with myself and many others. For more details on that, click the very first link at the very top of the description of this video. So hello there everybody and welcome back on in to the channel here today for an all new video. Well, on the channel. Now today's video is absolutely not going to be your stereotypical Overlord X video at all, as I am going to be attempting to review and also just try and give my overall summary and thoughts on this all new Ninjago City Markets set. Yes, that is right. As of the time of me actually recording today's video, which by the way is on the 14th of June 2023, I have had this set for about a week now, and I actually got it. It arrived last week, and I've been building it, kind of taking it slow ever since. Because it been kind of um, dealing with exams as well. But even just on top of that, I just really wanted to build this in the slowest way possible. For a start, just so that I do not get anything wrong in this set. With me, right, it's always a thing where I end up misplacing or just putting a, play, a piece in the slightly wrong place. And then towards the end, I realise it just has completely screwed everything up. I did it with the gardens, and I did not want to do it here. So there's that reason. But on top of that, I just simply wanted to take my time with it, have some fun with it, you know? And I have definitely had just that. But in today's video, I would like to just kind of do a quick walk around, discuss my overall thoughts on this set, and yeah, we're basically just going to go from there. Do not expect this to be a really high quality review. Reviews on YouTube here are not my thing at all. I do not specialize in uh, actual Lego reviews. So it's going to be like as homemade as they come. This is not a high production video in the slightest. It is just me with my phone camera giving a really average review of this set. But regardless, I would love to share some thoughts on all of this with all of you. And I hope that you guys do still end up enjoying today's video with, uh, you know, regardless of that. So today, let's just get straight into it and let's have a quick look at this this set and see what it's all about. Let's begin. Well, I'm not actually too sure where to go ahead and begin with this review, but I just wanted to kind of just have a, you know, look around with it. So I'm going to be going from this particular order over on this side of the set. Oh, and um, if anything comes into frame weird that looks weird here, it is probably all of these minifigures. I have just taken them off for the sake of this review. But yeah, let's just get started. So first of all, I want to talk about these things. These things are so annoying, right? They come across all of the build. And if you guys are familiar with the Ninjago garden set, it's pretty much the same thing. Handling this set is awful just because of the fact that uh, the, these just seem to fly off completely randomly. They're not held on all that well as you can see it's just a stud and they just do not seem to be all that good but i do like the use of the pieces right they do look cool it's just that they seem to fall off quite often uh you can see here with the samurai sword right it just comes off so easily but that is a very good use of that samurai sword by the way i'm a big fan of that moving up here you've got uh this thing it's kind of like framework for this entire set right um, this is holding this up up here, which we will get onto later on in the video. You've got this thing here. Uh, I'm not really sure what the purpose of that is, uh, but um, yeah, there is that. Uh, down here, you've got something really interesting, which is this. This seems to be like either the first Pinjitsu Master or Master Wu. I'm going to assume it's Master Wu on some sort of like weird dragon. It's really cool. Obviously, it's just a sticker. Unless I say otherwise, everything that I show you in this way will just be a sticker. So if you guys are against stickers, then this set probably isn't for you, all things considered. But yeah, that is really, really cool artwork there. Uh, small kind of lantern thing hanging off here, which does look pretty awesome. It's a very simple uh, building technique, but it does look cool. Moving around here, you've got some uh, steps and uh, that just leads to this. Uh, in fact, actually, right, you've got these um, Technic pins which stick out obnoxiously. Obviously, it's nothing too, you know, deal-breaking. It's nothing that you're really going to notice with this thing on display, but it is worth mentioning that these will connect to, I think, the gardens, or if I'm wrong on that, feel free to correct me, but I do know that they do connect somewhere to some of the other sets, uh, the other Ninjago modular sets, so that you can have them all joined together. That was kind of a thing with these sets. I'm not sure which one that joins onto, and I hope that it doesn't look too awkward with these weird steps going up it. Hopefully that does connect quite nicely. But yeah, that is what that is actually for. Let's move on to this side of the set. Okay then, so now that we've taken a uh, quick swivel round with this set, I'm going to just do something that is kind of awesome and is a good feature with the set, and that is, pull out the interior of this shop and we are greeted with well this this is a bakery type thing so you've got um bagels here uh sorry not bagels you have um pretzels sorry that is the word i'm looking for uh baguettes you've got uh, a croissant of sorts uh cooking away in the cooker back there um another one here and some sort of 
probably cake. Rolling pin, uh, these are probably covered in flour, by the way. These are probably um, ready to be put into that cooker, to be quite honest. Uh, you've got this uh, chef here. She just kind of sits there. I will take her out for the sake of this review, just to get a better look at this thing itself. Uh, you've got stairways here, which are made up of uh, Harry Potter wand uh, type things. Uh, these can actually come off. So, um, yeah, Harry Potter wands can go in there. I'm not too sure how common those pieces actually are. So it's cool to get them in this set. If you are a piece type person, then, you know, that's a very good part to get here. But again, very good interior. Very, very cute um, little archway here. And, of course, a window with some of these flowers. And it's uh, also got a small little basement. There's not really much going on in here. I'm not too sure what you'd ever want to use this for. But it's there. Um, and then, yeah, that just falls back into place. And that is that. Uh, here you've got this thing with a frog on top of it. Frogs are going to be a very prevalent part of this entire set and this entire review as we take a look uh, around this set. And there is a really awesome hidden reference with those frogs as well later on. But that is all you need to know for now. But yes, very, very cool piece. It's awesome getting these uh, frogs, as you can see there. Cool stuff there. I am a big fan. And that just kind of sits there just outside here. Above the bakery, though, you've got this uh, thing here, which we will take a look at. Um, that's kind of awkward. It just comes off. It's, that's the second time I've done that, but... Um, We'll just gloss past that. This thing does actually open, so bear with me here. Okay, there you go. And this is actually blazy uh, hyper speed, right? It is. Uh, feel free to fill me in on that if I'm wrong in the comments. I seem to always forget that. But yeah, this is her like a room of sorts. So there is her minifigure. We'll probably be taking a better look at the minifigures towards the end of this video. So I will just throw her off to the side a moment there. She has a bed here. Kind of like a simple Lego bed design, but it's cool. I really do like this lamp as well, this little bedside table type thing going on. I do like that lamp a lot. Uh, some roller skates here. Um, you've got about three of them there, all just stacked up. Uh, you've got this design here. I'm not too sure what this is meant to represent, but, you know, it's there at least. And also you've got this really, really good uh, uh, picture, sorry, I should say, of Nia. And a lot of people were wondering, what is this? What is its, what is its actual significance? And this is probably like a cookie, right? It's right above the baker, ba the bakery, the baker shop, whatever. And it kind of looks like it's a cookie. So it's like resembling that quote from Ninjago Seabound. That's just how the cookie crumbles, you know, that infamous near quote. And I think that is awesome. Kind of sadistic as well, because she ended up uh, having her demise in Seabound, which was short lived, but that's neither here nor there. But still a near quote. Uh, that's a very clever reference as well. One that's very easily missed, but... If you know your Ninjago stuff, then you are going to know what that means. Or hey, maybe even you won't know that. It definitely took me a while to work that out. It took me like a review or two to finally put two and two together with that. But yeah, that is basically going to do it for, uh, yeah, this here. Uh, you've got these flowers here, which are a very prominent thing throughout the entire build. And also in here, uh, you've got, let me just show you. So that is what that looks like. That is just the uh, wall that can be pulled off. But in here, you've got this type of like office area um i completely forgot what this is actually meant to be used for to be quite honest i've forgotten half of what i've built just because it gets more and more insane as we move through the review here but you know you've got some features in here you've got like a tap i believe that's meant to be or something along those lines if it's not that then it's uh actually a uh, a light i believe in fact that would actually make a whole lot more sense but yeah it's like an office type space here it looks really really cool i'm a big fan but that's basically it for this particular room kind of very boring when you consider how great some of the rest of the set is so let's swiftly move on kai i do apologize but you were going to literally have to get kicked out here as we need to talk about his blacksmith shop so here you've got a small bucket of water uh, an anvil type thing there you've got some tools up on the wall back there a, a spanner and whatever the heck that is uh, you've got this here, which is like a oven slash stove type thing, I want to say. Yeah, that's definitely what that is, actually. And then you've just got some room for figures, to be honest. It's quite, it's quite roomy in here, to be honest with you. Uh, you've got this back here, which is like a little lever type thing. I'm not too sure what that is meant to be used for. Again, feel free to fill me in on that in the comments, but it's there, I guess. Uh, there's actually a fair bit of room in here for what it is. This isn't obviously accurate to Kai's blacksmith shop, right? But it is something. And I mean, even his minifigure isn't all that accurate. So what are you really going to expect from the blacksmith shop itself? But it's very cool. I do like it. It's kind of an underrated part of this entire set, in my personal opinion, just because of the fact that it's always hidden away at the bottom here and is overshadowed by so much other stuff. But yeah, it is here. It is cool. There is a lot of room for figures. Again, as I say, let's just take Dareth here. You know, you can easily get quite a few in there if you do so wish. It does look pretty cool. Moving along here, you've got more of these hideous, hideous things. I really wish there was a better way to actually join these on. As you can see, it just flicks off so, so easily there, but you know, whatever. Uh, I need to touch on this as well. This is the water. It looks really, really awesome. As we move on towards the actual front of the set over there, 
I will show you more uh, with regards to this, but it does have a pretty cool, not feature, but just actual design to make it really, really appealing to the eye that you can't really see here. Although some of you may have already been able to pick up on that with regards to the colors used. But yeah, let's move along. So here is the uh, archway, as you can see there. Uh, there's not really much I want to touch on now. I will be getting on to this kind of stuff. Actually, no, let's do it now, right? So over here, you've got a, uh, a poster. This is a reference to an old Lego theme. I do believe that's what it's intended to be. Anyway, like an old Lego Pirates theme. I'm not necessarily the greatest when it comes to old Lego themes. So uh, if you guys are Lego nerds, feel free to fill me in on that in the comments. Uh, I am not that into other general Lego themes, to be honest. But this is a box here. And uh, I probably should have waited, but I believe this is actually from Creatures, Beasts and Beyond. It's like a small stall, and I believe it is reflected that it is that on here. I believe that says C, B and B or something along those lines. Uh, again, please do correct me on everything I may get wrong in today's video, but I believe that is meant to be Creatures, Beasts and Beyond. And if that isn't ringing a bell for you guys so far, it is because that is from one of the very early episodes of Ninjago Season 1, where Cole gets a package for uh, Rocky, his uh, obvious dragon and he gets a frog to feed him a frog type thing so yes this is like literal dragon slash just pet food in ninjago which is pretty pretty awesome up here you've got this nothing really that has a use to be quite honest but it does look cool you've got some nice texturing going on here with all of these different uh, pieces looks really really cool a bit more of the archway going on here you've got some of these lanterns made out of a minifigure head cool stuff there um again just kind of more of this flowing through but this leads us on to our next bit of interior here and uh this is like a ladder type thing a minifigure could potentially hold on to that uh let me just get one for you guys really quickly here so yeah a minifigure could hold on to that if they so wish it is a uh, bar sized for a minifigure this is really not working sorry but yeah, you guys get the point, right? I do not want to go off camera for that because you guys get the point. But yeah, a minifigure could hold on to that. It is like a, uh, again, a ladder type thing. You've got a small um, area with some flowers slash bush design going on here. And then on the inside here, you've got to this, which is a very awesome looking illustration of Wojira torturing the lands of Ninjago in all of her glory. Looks really, really cool. Uh, yeah, let's move that out of the way though. And here you have what is actually um, the Master of Poisons little shop, I believe that's meant to be. So yeah, you've got some, well, my bad, but yeah, you've got some interesting things in here. You've got these things on the shelves. I'm not too sure what they are, but this uses a very nice uh, piece. It's got a very nice texturing to it, very nice color scheme. This green cylinder, I'm not too sure what this is. Is it a cake? Is it not? I am not too sure. And also this thing, uh, again, I'm not too sure what all of those are, but yeah, they're there just to kind of fill in space and look like they are doing something. Uh, you've got this bonsai tree type thing going on here. And on the floor here, you've actually got an extra one of these. I just kept it in there to be safe. But this is a Ninjago card. They have been slowly coming in lots of different big Ninjago sets, such as this one. And this is a Zayn one. So it looks very similar to the very original Ninjago cards that you can like actually go out and physically buy, which is awesome. It's a very, very cool reference there. And I'm very glad they actually included that. And then through this door here, you've got the uh, counter area, uh, a nice illustration there. And that is basically going to do it for this particular shop. Again, there's not really that much uh, else to see. Although actually there is this, and this is a core coal micro figure, which looks absolutely fantastic, if you ask me. So happy they included that. There is also a core J micro figure included within the set. And uh, they are both, uh, well, they both come in twos, which is absolutely fantastic. So there is also going to be a, a spare, one to put in here and one just for your own personal collection, which I find to be really, really cool. But then if you want to close all of this up, you just simply, uh, my bad. Just simply place it on. This is a lot easier to do when you're holding it with two different hands. Obviously, I'm recording though, so it's not all that uh, easy to do. Up here, you've got Aaron and Sora's apartment. It's not really that easy to show you guys inside because I do not want to take all of this off for the sake of this review. But essentially, it's just a bunk bed. Uh, you've got a lantern type thing there. Um, again, bunk bed. So you've got uh, Aaron's there and Sora's up here. But yeah, it's kind of whatever. It's kind of lackluster. I really wish it was bigger, but it is what it is, I suppose. There are a lot of other cool interiors in this set that, to be honest, I really can't be all that mad with it. And I have just completely flung off the door handle, so let me go and fix okay, that. Okay, now that that's fixed, let's move on here. You've got some flowers here, um, a nice uh, green like parting off to the side of this window, which looks cool. Uh, you've got a little area for figures here. Here's Gail Gossip for comparison, and she can literally just fit there as you can see, so she's pretty cool. Um, and again, you can have a minifigure there, probably Aaron. Uh, let me just find him, here he is. So you could have Aaron here. Um, Sora wouldn't really fit on here with Aaron, but you know, it's whatever really. Uh, around here though, um, 
you've got this nice little poster which represents those uh, like yak type animals from season five possession. If you remember, Kai had this big debate with Jay over if or not it's a goat or a cow or whatnot. That was pretty funny, to be honest. One of my favourite Ninjago jokes of all time. And uh, yeah, you've got a little wanted or missing poster, I believe it is, for this uh, goat or cow or whatever it may be. But yeah, that is pretty, pretty cool. Let me move the entire set around though so that I can show you the rest of the And set. now that we're around to the front, there is another frog here. It's more of these uh, like fang pieces that are awkwardly placed. You've got this here, which is uh, meant to represent running water, which looks awesome. And you've also got this weird like curved, like upwards area. As you can see, it's not done by actually using just flat out normal steps. And that is because this set seems to be entirely based around this guy, Cyrus Borg. Obviously he's in a wheelchair, uh, so he's not going to be able to get up literal steps. So what they've done is they've had this like ramp idea and essentially you can just, oh my God, did that really just fall off? After what I've been saying in this review, there we go. That is proof that those things are so, so annoying. But yeah, it's like a ramp. You can um, push him up here. It's not actually that easy to do, to be honest, but you guys get the idea. It's meant to hint at an actual ramp for the Cyrus Borg wheelchair to actually make its way upwards again doing it with one hand like this is so so difficult but you can go up there and a lot of the set seems to be based around that fact uh back here you've got a um temple of celebrations lego employee exclusive poster there which is awesome i would really love to get my hands on that particular set that's for sure let me just put this katana back on there you go oh being very very stubborn today but yeah let me just put cyrus borg aside and show you the rest. This is a very cool bridge area. I love to display figures up here. I know that when I actually end up displaying the set, it will definitely have some figures on it. Definitely some up there as well. Love, love all of the texturing here. There is some room underneath. And it's kind of rare in Lego that like, we have a, um, a design that breaks the mold of just going flat straight with the actual studs. This one is on a complete curve. Let me show you guys, as you can see there. So it makes it a lot more unique, in my opinion anyway. And I'm a big fan of that. Uh, quite delicate, but as long as you just kind of leave it alone, it will be absolutely fine. Uh, as you can see with the water, as I was saying earlier, so it starts off a very light green back here, if you guys can see that, see where I'm pointing there? And then as you move along, it goes from like dark green off to black, which is just kind of showing the depth of the water itself, which I find to be absolutely incredible. Very, very subtle detail, very easily missed, but when you pay attention to it, it is kind of unmissable. Uh, small table here, I believe this is in the wrong place because it literally just got knocked over. Some stuff will have to be moved around because I know it is in the slightly wrong place before you guys comment down below telling me that. But uh, also back here, you've got a boat here and there is a minifigure that goes along with it. So they are just selling uh, vegetables and whatnot on the uh, coastline or whatever of this um, ocean, just slash bit of water. I'm not really sure what it's meant to be, but yeah, they are just on the edge here. So people standing around here could purchase some fruit and vegetables if they so wish. I believe that's meant to be an apple or tomato, uh, maybe peppers or something like that, and just other various goods, which is pretty, pretty cool. Around here, you've got more and more of the bakery, which I showed you guys earlier. Um, see if I can get my hand in there. I'm not too sure. But yeah, you guys get to the point. Uh, hang on a minute. I may be able to open this door. There we are. So the door can be opened. People can go up there and you can have the chef in there serving people their food and uh, baked goods. So yes, that is basically going to do it for this portion of the set. As you can see, all of it in all of its glory. Oh yeah, there's also this table as well with this really weirdly colored uh, teapot, which reminds me of Ghost Cole's face print back in the day, if you guys remember that minifigure. Uh, back here, you've also got some cool deta detailing here, another kind of like pillar slash foundation point holding this set together. And it does have some very, very nice detailing there, as you can see. But with this all being said, what say we move up to the top? Okay left? then, so up here, you have some really nice curved stairs. This thing looks really, really like natural. It looks really cool. Minifigures can really perch on here, to be honest with you. I don't think any of them would just because of the angle, but uh, yeah, it just looks cool at the very least. And it does absolutely look very, very cool. In here though, you've got whatever this is meant to be. I really haven't worked it out. Uh, you've got these nice flowers and a small hint of like a temple area with a nice cherry blossom tree on top. These things are such a pain to build in the set, in my personal opinion. But yeah, they're cool, to be quite honest with you. They do look good, but they're just very delicate. I prefer not to touch them at all. But yeah, this temple does look pretty, pretty nice. Uh, around here, you've actually got the Borg store, so I will actually show it you from this particular angle. In here, that is where Borg himself would sit, I believe. So you've got a small keyboard, uh, a nice little lamp, like a reading lamp type thing, and a computer showcasing some sort of new logo slash robot. I'm not even too sure. Below that is the shop. Uh, you can open the door 
just here. Let me get my hand in there. And I will show you around the other side as we get onto that. But yes, there are some items, some technological goods on display there. Up here are some aerial type things. These things are quite uh, prone to coming off, so you do just have to be careful. I have still lost my huge aerial from the gardens, which I'm so upset about. I still need to find that. So I do not want to make the same mistake with the actual markets here. Around here, they've got some red railing, which does look nice. I really like how they accomplished that particular look. Uh, let me just move the camera around there. But yeah, I do like this quite a fair bit. And uh, yeah, that is basically it for this particular area of this Moving set. Moving things around just a little bit here, you've got a nice map of the entire market set, as you can see just there. Uh, you've got a really nice walkway. People have complained about just the amount of empty space there is within the set, but my comeback to that is the fact that there is just so room, for, there is so much room, sorry, for minifigures to be put into this set to make it look like a real city scene. So you can have Hamdog McBrag here, Master of Poison there, and it just looks really, really awesome. Sorry, not Master of Poison, actually. Why have I been saying that all along? That is the Master of Form, I do believe. So yes, that is really, really cool. Um, again, I'm a big fan of this. So uh, yeah, I really like the empty space. You've got a small like walkway thing here, which looks very uh, like classic temple Japan type you know, era type stuff. And it's something you see in Ninjago very often, especially in the sets. So I'm a big fan of that, just kind of hanging there. A little bit out of place when you consider all of the other technological parts of the set, but still it does look cool. Also, I should also point out that this can come off. This is for the actual uh, Borg store. And you have some mobile phones there, some um, whatever those random squares are, and some more technological items back there. Some more light off to the side. And then you just pop that back on like so. There you go. And uh, yeah, that is basically all for that particular part of this set. Moving along here, you've got some posters. That is, of course, um, what's his name again? I have completely forgot his name. It is slipping my mind. Oh yeah, my bad. That is obviously Fritz Donegan, that absolute legend when it comes to Ninjago. Awesome stuff there. You've got some mechs battling it out there. And you've also got Jacob, the Master of Sound, there on a uh, poster display, which looks kind of funny. And you've also got some flowers growing here, two of those actually, along with these nice green technological like laser beam type things to stick out to stop people from falling off. Cool stuff here. I also really like the shaping of this part of the set. You can have figures going under it and there is also a small roof to it there. So I just do quite like that quite a bit. Uh, outside you've got some sort of like maybe rubbish or something. You've got some flowers here. You've got a like candle there and also Core J, which I was talking about earlier. I will pop him just here so that you guys can get a look at him. There he is. Uh, as you can see, the detailing is pretty on point. This thing is absolutely tiny. The camera, me zooming in, is making it look a lot bigger than it is. Um, I will just try and show you the size of that. That is in my hand, and you can just see how tiny it is. Um, it is literally, literally microscopic. Let me just put it back there. This That thing in hand is tiny. On camera, it looks a lot bigger, trust me. But yeah, that is basically it for that. Up here, you've got some stairs. Obviously, again, figures can go up it, although it is very tight, especially for Vinny there with all of his... Uh, uh, equipment. Uh, let me see if I can get Aaron up there. It is very, very, very tight, but you could... Yeah, there you go. Even with his small waffle in hand, you can easily get him up there. So yeah, that is pretty good stuff. Again, though, it's probably best to not have uh, characters with any accessories going up these stairs, as it does become very, very tight. Gale Gossip, uh, if I put one arm in the air, it may work, but uh, yeah. Very tight fit, but again, it's mainly just for looks and not for actual, like, play features, if you guys get up what I mean. Up here, though, you've got the actual toilet with a working, well, toilet inside. I really do not want to take the roof off, though, just because this thing is so fiddly to build. But on YouTube, if you want to have an actual high-quality review of the set, people will show you how that toilet works. And I may actually make a YouTube short at some point soon just showcasing that, but it is very, very fiddly to do on camera in the first place. And I, again, am not the best. And I, again, am not the best at review, so it's going to be extremely difficult for me to showcase that to all of you. But again, steps up here to this little... Um, I don't even know what to call it, like restaurant cafe type place. This is actually the last thing you build in this set. And if we take a look at the interior, there is not really that much going on. You've just got some food kind of there. And uh, yeah, I will show you a bit more around here because there is a door on the other side. But yeah, you guys get the gist. There you are. There is the interior. You've just got some stuff there. Soy sauce type thing at the back. You've got some sushi here. Room for a figure or two, I think. Uh, well, you could do it if you took the roof off and everything, but uh, yeah, you guys get the point there. Get out of the way, Dareth. We do not want you there. Uh, you've also got some room for figures outside so that they can stand and talk while waiting for their food or whatnot. 
And uh, you've also got this here, which can shut, but it's good to leave it open. And the instructions also recommend that you do leave that open. Uh, here is a cramp type thing along with uh, this. This was literally probably the hardest thing to build just because of how fiddly it is. And I am not one for fiddly parts of Lego sets, but still you guys get the idea there. Uh, the toilet, again, I don't want to show you the working feature just because of how difficult it is to, well, actually get it to work. But essentially there is a small lever off to the left there that you guys may see with those Technic pieces. The toilet itself is there and you just flush it and some, um, feces shall we say actually pops out the back and it is a working flushable toilet which i find to be so awesome a lot of people don't like it i personally love it it is literally peak lego there genuinely my favorite parts of the set i think it's so incredible a lot of good detailing as well it really does look like a nice porta potty type thing going on there i am a huge fan of it okay why is the camera not focusing is that going to work there we go so uh yeah that is going to do it there I realise I have skipped a level and ignored the state of this bridge. I still haven't fixed it yet. I still have not found one of the other curved pieces and I haven't even built it properly because I don't think these are in the right place. So I will have to take a look after recording. Uh, yeah, it kind of fell apart when I was doing some things to it. But uh, yeah, I do need to uh, redo that, as I say. But again, you can put figures on here. This is pretty much how it looks regardless. And it does look pretty darn cool, if I do say so, so myself. So yeah, Dareth is there just for reference. Or he could be this way. Uh, let me just get him to fit. And he could be looking over the edge. Um, looking a bit tipsy there, Dareth. But uh, yeah, he could be looking all the way down here. It is a nice feature. Speaking of Dareth, his actual bar, Laugh is, uh, you know, the bar, restaurant, place, is in here. You've got some very nice uh, techniques going on here. So you've got these um, pieces here. And then you put these white pieces inside it in that, like, order. And it creates this lovely looking design, which looks awesome. I can very clearly envision the LED lighting that this thing may have if it was real, you know, in kind of like a pub type area or like bar type place. So yeah, here you've got a really wonky looking uh, pool table because I still haven't lined it up properly. That looks better actually. It is a working pool table, believe it or not. You've got these small pieces here and there is small holes to either side. So, yeah, there you go. You can kind of get a view of that there. So yeah, it is a working pool table for all of your many, your Lego minifigures to battle it out over the pool table. Inside though, it's got a very, very nice interior. Let me try and zoom in. Right there, you've got the karaoke area. You've got the actual like counter where Dareth will be serving up those uh, cold drinks for everybody to enjoy and get drunk on and probably cause brawl fights inside. So uh, yeah, you could probably act that out with your minifigures if you did so wish. But yeah, it does look cool. Shutting the doors though, that's the end of that. Let's keep the fights inside, fellas. Uh, out here though, you've got um, this which looks awesome. I'm not too sure what it's advertising. It is probably advertising laugh is or something, but it's just one of those advertisements. And I really like how they've done the colors there. They are very subtle changes, but they do look awesome. NGTV news here, some other kind of design with a yellow lizard that is probably for creatures, beasts and beyond down there or something along those lines. But as always with these big sets, you've got all of these advertisements running across the side around here as well. I didn't really touch on these earlier, but they are definitely visible and they do look pretty awesome. Um, we need to touch on this as well. This is the uh, the car type thing, the rail car. And there is a small lever just at the back over there. And if you turn it this way, it goes up. So you have to turn it like to the right, right? So I'm turning my hand uh, right and it goes up. But then to go back down, you turn it towards the left side. So it just goes down there. And it's just done by using this small string thing that I haven't really applied properly because I cannot tie a knot to save my life. But still, it does somehow seem to work. Minifigure could be popped inside there, I do believe. But I do not want to do it as of right now on camera because I do not want this entire thing to fall apart. But yeah, I like to just have this uh, cart in the middle. Uh, oh, wrong way. So I will show you guys how that looks when it's just slap bang in the middle of the whole thingy. Uh, it just looks much better in my personal opinion. Having it right up in the middle, it just looks so much better. As you can see, there it is in all of its glory. I absolutely love this thing. I think it looks incredible. And I just like to leave it like that, to be quite honest. But that is basically going to cover it for all of this set. You've got some more posters here. Again, that up there. But that is basically going to cover it for the set. Now I just wanted to discuss my thoughts on the minifigures and then that will basically end so off So for the mind. minifigures, I do not have them lined up for anything as of right now, but they are awesome. For my favourite, it would probably be Misdemeanor. Obviously there are some other absolute fan favourites here, such as Cyrus Borg, which is awesome to get. Uh, I do like a lot of the other figures. I absolutely adore the Sora minifigure. Dareth is great to get as well. Um... Not really her, but I do really like the hair piece. Uh, Gail Gossip, we've got Vinnie, Vinny, sorry, of NGTV News here, which is fantastic. Aaron, one of my most favorite ones in this set and one of my most favorite Ninjago minifigures of all time, to be quite honest. I just love that design. Um, Blacksmith Kai here. 
Bit of a disappointment, but he is cool, I suppose. Uh, very, very big disappointment here. I do not like her torso. That is a Bionicle reference, which is cool on its own. Now, I just wish it wouldn't have been used on her. I really would love to see her actual Prime Empire design. Even if it is a little bit inaccurate, it'd just be cool to get that version of her, right? Because we never got it for the Prime Empire wave. But overall, yes, the minifigures do look pretty, pretty spectacular. And there is a lot of room for them. Oh, and also I should touch on her. She's awesome. A very big fan favourite that people have wanted for like eight years or so at this point. And another classic. I, I know I say this about all of them pretty much, but Hound Dog McBrag, again, is one of my other favourites of this set. But that's basically going to conclude it for the minifigures. Now for the set. Rating... 1 out of 10. No, just kidding. It's literally an 11 out of 10. I love this thing so, so much. It is pretty much perfect. Everything I could have possibly asked for when it comes to this set. It is so much better in person. I've had a lot of fun building it. Everything like that. It is just absolutely incredible. I absolutely love it so, so much. But that is basically going to do it for today's video. Again, sorry, it was a bit lackluster. Again, I'm not a reviewer, but I just wanted to get my thoughts out there. People have requested me to make a review regardless. So I just thought, you know what? I've got some free time. Why not do it for you guys? Hopefully you enjoyed the small switch up in content here. Hopefully you did all enjoy it, despite it again being very lackluster in quality. Do apologize for that, but I'm not a reviewer. But if you guys would like to see more like this in the future, Feel free to let me know down below in the comments and I will be sure to try it out for you guys. But that is going to do it for today's video. Feel free to leave a like on it if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. Hit the notification bell so that you can never, ever miss out on an upload or here on the Overlord X channel. And with all of this being said, I will catch you all very, very soon for a new video. Goodbye, everybody. Catch you all very soon for a new one. Goodbye.